Hey, good day, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be another MLB lockout update. But first and foremost, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget at the end to help us go to 215 by the end of March. But let's get right into it as Major League Baseball very unfortunately announced the cancellation of two more regular season series. Major League Baseball's Commissioner Rob Manfred announced the cancellation of two more regular season series after collective bargaining talks fell apart with the union once again on Wednesday. So this is the second time in a week the bargaining talks fell apart as I did a video on this earlier where I was still a lot more optimistic than now where and I tweeted even um, yesterday that I thought this would all be done by this time next week. I still kind of have that feel because they're going to be pressured. They only push it back to April 14th at the earliest for opening day. So they're going to be pressured to get guys in by a month beforehand to have a month of spring training. So that's still coming really close as wrap March 9. So, but I think this is a really big damning blow. This is not something we want to see uh, at this point, <clears throat> obviously, of the lockout. Um, as the players rejected the MLB's options and sent back a counter proposal, the counter was not enough to convince the owners not to bring down more games, though. So apparently, the um, counter proposal, the player, the counter proposal players of the three options the MLB proposed per source, parties have until November fifteenth to agree to an international draft. If they don't agree on it, then qualifying offer returns after the twenty twenty two twenty three offseason and international system also returns to status quo. So instead of th how the league had it, um, where they were going to make it if they didn't agree to the international draft, they could reopen the CBA three years into the deal. Um, and, not, and if the CBA then is more in favor of the players, they can basically stand a lockout so they can get it more in favor of the owners, so to speak. Well, obviously, the players union wouldn't want that, where in this, it sounds like from Evan Drellick, I'll read it again, the MLB proposed uh, per source parties have now until November 15th to agree to an international draft. If they don't agree on it, then qualifying offer returns at the 2022-23 offseason and international system also returns to status quo. So that that was a counterproposal players uh, that the players gave of the three options, it seems like. He kind of wrote that really weird in the tweet. Um, but that sounds like that's the kind of proposal they gave where they don't want to have, obviously, the CBA be reopened. So they're saying you can put back in qualifying offers if they don't agree by the November 15th date to the international draft um, and reinstitute those after um, the 2022-23 season and then just keep the international um, system at the status quo of what it is at now. Um, obviously, Ben Evandrelic, <clears throat> obviously, th that didn't seem to be enough, as Evandrelic said, though, for the MLB, so they canceled two more series. Now, the earliest opening day will be is April 14th. That would make me think the most you would play now is 10 less at 152. I don't think you're going to get, unless if there's somehow a miracle deal by tomorrow, potentially, a 162 game season, and that would have to be with how it's sounding with the cancellation and how um, the wording was where it said the union, the talks with the union fell apart and how they described that language. I don't see that happening by tomorrow. And I try to be more optimistic with this as this is my second update. I usually only do one update on whatever I've done a couple updates on this because it's just not fun to talk about per day. But this is my second on it per day today. I'll link the other one to it at the end of this video. But in recap, MLB won't start to the earliest at April 14th now as the league cancels two more series as the talks fell apart. I thought the first option maybe would have been good. Is uh, I'll go back to that for a second, um, where I thought the first option would have been pretty good uh, if the league decided on that because the one was agree to eliminate draft pick compensation and examine the international draft, but then if they didn't, I think part of that contingent might have been maybe if uh, they didn't agree to it, that's when they could have reopened the CBA, and that, if that was still part of it, then that wouldn't have made that deal as sweet. But if that was just an examining thing, like I said in my previous video, and you could have then agreed to eliminate the draft of conversation just to examine it, and maybe it would stay status quo, and you would just be able to add in the qualifying offer, maybe that can kind of 
bridge the gap. You can say, well, let's agree to eliminate draft pick compensation. We'll examine the international draft as the players countered. And then if we don't agree to the international draft, we'll just re-give you guys the qualifying offer, which makes, they said, like 50 to $100 million per year. And then you guys can have that. So it's kind of a give-and-take thing. Apparently, that wasn't enough for the owners. The owners in baseball, to me, are the greediest in all four major league sports. I have no problem saying that because they get the most revenue from all four of them, and they make the most, especially in the playoffs. So the only benefit the players really have from the extra playoff teams is just playoff experience. They don't make any extra money on the revenue in the postseason. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens going forward. Unfortunately, more games are canceled. I thought maybe that first offer would have been good, and I thought even the counter offer by the MLB <clears throat> um, that Evan Drella tweeted about uh, which is if they don't agree to it by November 15th, they can put back in the qualifying offer. That makes the owners a lot of money. So I I don't see why that wasn't a decent offer. I think this is just the big butting ahead that um, many reporters have said has been years to come. Everybody saw this coming because compared to any sport, which hockey was there for a while, my other favorite sport, between the players and the uh, league, but then they even mended a gap during a pandemic. It was even hard for the MLB to come together during the pandemic. Thank God they eventually did. Now it seems like they just aren't able to come to it. They keep getting closer as they did earlier in the week. Then they weren't able to solve it. They started meeting again. Um, and then it's the second time in in a basically a 10-day span that, the, that it seemed like they were getting closer. And then it all just seemed to fall apart is now, unfortunately, the league again. Opening day is the earliest, April 14th. But this has been the latest reaction to the lockout by Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick. Please subscribe down below. Above and be easy to use widget. Heave a stone to 215 by the end of March. Thank you, everybody, and peace out.